Don't know what to think about this virus Started in China, now everybody in America's hiding There's no groceries, cause people start to panic and buy it The shelves are empty, the ones with plenty already stockpiling Y'all making memes, think it's funny? Wait a week till the riots, wait a month till the only way to eat is be violent It's not the sickness, it's scary, it's all the people who whiling The government lying, they trying to keep us calm through the sirens You know it's for What up Dixie Mafia? <sighs> Back from another video Uh, before we get into it Make sure you uh, like, share, and uh, subscribe to uh, this channel. That way you know whenever I make another video, you're the first to know. So let's get into it here. We're going to be talking about three things here. Let me show you one of them. Essential workers. Now don't get me wrong, the essential workers, the ones that, you know still have their job and they're still working every day <laughs> I respect them a lot I do to a certain point let me show you there before I show you this next one here I'm going to show you or not show you but uh, um, explain to you what the similarities are between this one here and this next one I'm going to show you. So, let me show you. Alright. Now, that I showed y'all those two. The people that are on unemployment. Okay. Um, here's the similarity. Well, lost my fucking balance. The similarity is the people that are still working are making, you know, a lot of money. Whether it's, you know, a fucking low ass paying job or a fucking high class paying job. They're making they're still making money, right? Right. Okay, now the people that are currently and have been on uh, unemployment for quite a while now both of them are bitching yes they are bitching you can't tell me that you are not bitching because I know you are I see it every fucking day whether it's in person or on social media I see it every fucking day and it's bullshit you know why it's bullshit for one here let me show you why I say it's bullshit people on disability the essential workers and the people that are on um, unemployment, they bitch and bitch and bitch, but still they are making money. Yes, y'all that are on unemployment, you're still fucking making money at the end of the week, right? Right. $400 a week. You know that the government's giving you? Or $600 a fucking week that the government's giving you? It's a fucking handout. Now, the ones that are working currently are still bitching. Oh, I don't make enough. I don't make enough for this. I don't make enough for that. You know, the people, and even the people that are on unemployment, oh, I don't make enough for this. I don't make enough for that. When are y'all gonna stop bitching? When are y'all gonna stop whining? and complaining when fucking when I mean come on the people that are on disability that cannot work because of you know their arm is either you know cut off for you know some or some sort of reason or you know they was in a war and you know had their you know their fucking leg blown off or you know for some kind of health condition like um, uh, ADD attention deficit disorder or ADHD or seizures or um, what's the other one um, fuck I can't think of the other one um, god damn it I can't think of the other one but anyways uh, I think you get my point though. The people that are on disability, they have to, you know, learn how to make it. They have to be able to make it. You know, 
the people that are on disability make, you know, range anywhere from, I want to say, $700 to probably $1,200 a month. A month. Not a week. A month. You people that are on unemployment draw four to six hundred dollars a fucking week. A week. A goddamn week. Are you kidding me? And you're still bitching. The people that are working every day, you're making, what is it, five hundred, or, I'm just spitballing here, five hundred dollars a week, or five hundred dollars every two weeks. Or you're making uh, 1200 if not $1,500 a week or every two weeks, and you're still bitching? Dude, ladies and gentlemen, look. That is still fucking more money than somebody that is on disability or somebody that is on Social Security uh, for a fucking month. $700, between $700 and $1,200 a month for somebody that's on SSI or fucking disability, you still make more than them. Quit bitching. Shut the fuck up, people. And to be quite frankly honest, I could give two rats ass. I could give two fucks. Actually, no. I don't give a fuck. What the hell you say? I don't give a fuck what the hell you do. If you disagree with me, I don't give a shit. If you agree with me, more props to you. But... My point is, the people that are working, the people that are on unemployment, you draw more than people on SSI, you draw more than people on disability, so on and so forth, etc, etc, etc. And you're still bitching. Guess what? I have not heard one time in my entire fucking life, not one motherfucking time, that somebody on disability or somebody on SSI or any other, you know, uh, government-based system bitch and whine and complain about, you know, the money that they're making. They wish they made more. They, I've never heard anybody in public or in person or uh, by text message or by email or by social media. I've never once read, seen, or heard of anybody on that whining or complaining because guess what it does not happen it doesn't happen that's a fact you look it up you will believe me I guarantee fucking tee it it's a fact but oh wait these people that you know are on unemployment or these essential workers let me explain something here to you you make money every motherfucking day the essential workers do you don't see it every day, but you make money every fucking day. Guess what? You work hours. You put hours in. Hours after hours after hours after hours after hours in. That's your fucking job. And guess what? Every Friday, if not every, every other Friday, what do you see? You see a fucking paycheck, don't you? Shut the fuck up. The people on unemployment, you don't even work for it. Seriously, you don't even fucking work for it. And you're still bitching. How does that make any fucking sense? It's a goddamn fucking handout. Seriously, come the fuck on. Make some goddamn sense. Get out there, get off your lazy fucking ass, and get a fucking job. The people that are disabled? The ones that, you know, uh possibly have a skin disease nobody's gonna hire them nobody people that have seizures that's a condition that's fucked up in their head that's a brain condition ADHD that's a health condition ADD, that's a health condition, that is still a fucking disability, but y'all say, oh, y'all can still get a fucking job, I 
I would never, ever, ever in my entire life understand the fucking stupidity, the ignorance of people. Blaming other pe people, blaming other people because they can't do this, they can't do that. You know, it's bullshit. But yet, the people like me that believe this, we're all born with some kind of talent or some kind of deformity. But yet, if we're born with some kind of talent and we don't take that talent somewhere, we don't push it to our highest potential, and we blame others, we're, we're the victim? No, 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 it don't work like that. If you have a talent and you don't push that talent to its fullest extent, to the highest that you can possibly go with it, and you say that's somebody else's fault, no, it is not. That is your own fault. Now, somebody with a disability, or somebody that, you know, can't physically or possibly get a fucking job that is on disability, who do they blame? They blame their self when it is not their fault. It was born like that. They don't blame other people. That's kind of fucking weird if you ask me. The people that are that are on disability that need to be on disability and that should be on disability have more common sense than what the the uh, essential workers do and the people that are on unemployment do. And that's really fucking sad, if you ask me. That is really, really fucking sad. Something else that is really fucked up The ones that have more common sense is the people that are disabled. It's fucked up if you ask me. It is extremely fuck, uh, fucked up. It makes no damn sense. You would think the people that... Oh, you know, have a job or something like that. They, God, I'm not even going to fucking go into that because I know for a fact I'm going to have people down in the fucking comments below saying, Oh, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You should get a life. Get a fucking job. If you knew me, you wouldn't say that. If you knew the type of person I was, you wouldn't say that. But you don't. But... But, one other thing before I wrap this video up, before I end it, I'm going to say this. And I really don't care who I piss off for this one. I really, really don't. Because I know I'm going to piss a lot of people off. The ones out there that are on government checks, you know, monthly checks... I'm not no this has no I'm not talking about the ones that are on disability at all. I'm not talking about them. Y'all have nothing to do with this this topic right here. Not at all. The ones I'm talking about is the ones that spread their legs and expect a handout. Like let's say that for example a woman that spreads her legs, or a man that, you know, rapes a woman, or uh, gets uh, a woman uh, pregnant, or whatever the case is. They have kids, you know, several upon several upon several upon several, yada yada yada, so on and so forth. Guess what they do? This is what y'all do. You go to the EBT office, government-based building, and expect a handout. You expect $800 to $1,500 worth of food stamps. 
what does that leave everybody else? Not a motherfucking thing. Not a motherfucking thing. And then you go to the Social Security office and try to put them on a government check and they don't need it. And you know they don't need it. Guess what that's called? Guess what that's called? Cheating the system. That's exactly what that's called. But you expect everybody else to be like, oh, oh, I feel so sorry for you. You can't get a job. Yes, you can. You can get a job. They're fucking out there. God damn, people. There's jobs out there. For fuck's sake. Get off your lazy motherfucking asses and get a goddamn job. There's millions upon millions upon millions upon millions upon millions upon millions upon millions, upon millions of fucking jobs out there. And you know what the fucking problem is? You're too fucking lazy. All you want to do is sit on your fucking ass and beg somebody else and beg them and beg them and beg them. Okay, hey, can I have 20, can I borrow 20 bucks? Can I borrow 50 bucks? Can I borrow 100 bucks? Okay, can I borrow this amount? Can I borrow this amount? Can I borrow that amount? I'll pay you back. I promise you. I'll pay you back. I'll fucking pay you back. You know, that money adds up. That fucking shit adds up very, very fucking quickly. Very quickly. And what is really, really piss poor is the person that is expecting to be paid, or expecting to be paid back, they aren't thinking clearly enough, they aren't realizing enough that that person that's asking them to borrow however much money Guess what? That money will never get paid back to you. I hate to break it to you, but that person that is begging and begging and begging, hey, can I, can I borrow this much? They are never going to pay you back. Trust me, I've been there. I had a motherfucker beg and 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 beg for money. Every motherfucking day, every goddamn month. And he looked like a fucking wet back Mexican. But guess what? I was generous enough. I let him happen. I was fucking stupid enough to fucking let him happen. Guess what? I found out real quick. Don't ever let nobody borrow money from you. Ever. That's all I got to fucking say. Everybody that, you know, begs and asks for money, all they are is a fucking bum.